Welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with Immigration Attorney Brian D. Werner. Uh, in this particular video, we are talking about uh, consular processing and the procedures that need to go forward in order for you to successfully uh, process and come into the United States. Now, there's a couple of different kinds of consular processing, but generally, uh, once you have an approved I-130 or an approved I-140, uh, what would happen is you would be able to then go forward with the appropriate paperwork uh, and petition process in order to go to an appointment to the consulate at your home country and then to come in either as a lawful permanent resident or as a non-immigrant on a, for example, a work visa, religious visa, student visa, whatever it is. Um, the term consulate processing does deal with uh, having to go to your U.S. Uh, embassy or consulate in your home country in order to be able to come in to the United States uh, legally. Uh, and it does take time. It does take uh, patience as well, and it takes know-how to be able to get the proper paperwork and procedures uh, to the proper entities, ultimately to get your appointment at the U.S. Embassy or U.S. Consulate. Uh, the reason it's called consulate processing is this is when the uh, paperwork uh, you know, first, generally, if it's an immigrant visa, it goes to the National Visa Center. You have to take care of everything they need, and then they will forward it off to the U.S. consulate in the jurisdiction where you live. And from there, uh, an appointment will be set. You'll do your criminal background check. You'll do uh, your medicals and everything else. And then from there, you'll get your appointment. Okay, more on the coming videos.